You know you suck at life when you're at your dude's house and you're still sleeping alone. Damn it. I'm not strong enough to carry his ass upstairs, I'm sorry. Like, I tried throwing stuff at him and, like, hitting him and all kinds of stuff and he won't get up. I bet if I told you I was leaving, he'd be like, what? No, I'm not asleep though. He's had to deal with me drunk before, but at least I apologized the next day and I went where I was supposed to go. He won't even get off the couch. I just looked up and I was like, where did he go? 45 minutes into talking to his friends, I'm like, did he fucking die? Like, he went inside a long time ago. Like, what is he doing? I low-key, like, don't even want to go to sleep now, but I'm like, I know I have to. So it's like, what do I do? I just don't know what to do. Part of me wants to go down and stand in the middle of the living room and just start screaming at the top of my lungs. But I don't know what he's like when he wakes up. Normally it's like a fucking gold mine when I walk into someone's house and they're asleep. I'm like, hell yeah. Leave quietly. But now I'm like, oh my god, what do I do? I'd be pissed as fuck if he left me while I was drunk on the couch. And I drove all the way here and I work in the morning. So not good at being selfish. Damn it. <laughs> like any like average female would be pissed as fuck at this right now, but I just like can't help but laugh and it's like shit. How do I not piss him off? Because he's not gonna think it's funny at all. <laughs> I immediately regret not closing the salon properly. Cause now I have to be at work early as fuck to do everything I didn't do. Like half of my brain is thinking like you have to work tomorrow. And half of my brain is thinking, how do you get best girlfriend of the year award? <laughs> Like, I have never known how hard he can sleep. Like, Jesus could come to take us all home and this fool would still be like, mm mm, mm. Sleeping with his face inside of his hat, like, you can't see me. Go away. <laughs> like, too early in the relationship to see if he's, like, really ready for my immaturity. Because I'll, I'll go stack him and fucking antique him right now. Graffiti. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm not gonna touch him. Because every time I think I'm gonna be funny, people are like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Grow up. I'm like, oh. Be mad about it. Touche. I'm waiting for that person that's like, oh, okay, you got jokes. It makes revenge funny instead of like evil as fuck. Like, that's not funny. That's just mean. Like, I told him I was mad at him for putting a picture of me drunk and passed out on Snapchat. He was like, I went and deleted it. There's someone important on my Snapchat. I'm like, oh my god, I'm fucking kidding. Shit. I take myself seriously enough to get mad when people catch me slipping. I'm like, okay, I got you next time. And just know that I got you. You wait. When it comes to pranks, I'm like a crackhead in a street fight. I ain't backing down for shit. But I don't think we're there yet. So I will hold off.